Hey everyone, uh, it's been a while since I uploaded on this channel. Uh, yeah, I didn't really know what to do with this, so. On my second channel, I've been complaining about this game for a bit, and it still sucks in my opinion. But the only way to resolve these issues is through mods. You literally legit have to mod the game to be able to <laughs> fix all the issues that I've been talking about. So yeah, if you're having frame rate issues, if you're having audio issues, if you're having input issues, anything like that, modding the game will 100% do it. But the first things first, if you're having um, input issues, like if your inputs are ahead or delayed, please check your latency. I had to look up my latency because I have uh, the Wave XLR and it's about minus 25 milliseconds. So I put it at minus 25 on the shared input lag and it, it works just fine. It, it, it feels like I'm pushing it on time. So please, for the love of God, look up uh, your latency, whether that be your motherboard, uh, your headset, if it's plugged into USB, um, anything like that, your headphone jack, anything like that. Check if there's any audio latency, please look that up. And then uh, I guess if you found it, go ahead and put that as your I, I don't remember what it's called like i said again modding a game will 100 percent fix everything that i've been discussing about for a while now the only issue with modding is that it will delete well not delete it will overwrite your save data so if you have a lot of songs unlocked to extreme yeah you're gonna have to restart all over again because it's gonna create a new save data and it's gonna overwrite your old save data and there's nothing you can really do about it other than disabling the mod and you'll probably get your all the stuff back. But disabling the mod will, you know, remove all the mods that help the game out. So, all right. First things first, how do you mod the game? In the description, it, there is the Diva mod loader. You can go ahead and do that. I am very iffy around my uh, security around PC. So I did all these through virus total. I did virus scans on Defender, Bitdefender. I also scan these in virus total and all things seem clean. There is a diva mod loader on, oh, well, I can't, I guess it changed, I guess, I don't know. It, it, I think it used to be called diva mod loader, now it's called Krizar that you can use, which is, uh, it's, um, kind of like a, a manager, I guess. Because when I downloaded it, it was called diva mod manager, so. I did a scan on that and I also did a virus total and there is maybe a false positive but it's still detected as malware so I do not really rely on that. I mostly rely on this one by um, Blue Sky, uh, the Diva Mod Loader. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna have to go to the, the release pages and um, this will only work on 1.02 if you're earlier or behind uh, or ahead. Um, you're gonna have to wait until all these mods have been updated to that specific version because this version right now is 1.02 so if you have 1.02 then this will work perfectly fine so what you're gonna have to do is um download the diva mod loader uh it'll be completed right there uh and then go to your do downloads and it should be all there okay i'm gonna delete this one because i'm probably gonna get confused so the next thing you need to do uh, uh, you can download all these right away go ahead and download these if you want the full future tone experience download the future tone customization that will remove the um mega mix shader uh when you're customizing your characters uh this is this is the one that i use because i don't really like the mega mix uh shader um the restore cut songs it will restore three songs that have been removed from mega mix plus and this works for 1.02 so you can go ahead and get this the high refresh rate mod which is a 100 i recommend i 100 recommend you do this before you play the game itself because this fixed a lot of issues that i had um when i first played this for example one song had a lot of frame dips during the scene uh, i'll show you um before the mod and then it, you can see like a little stuttering that's happening right there it's not noticeable in the recording but whenever you actually play the game itself there is stuttering and then here it is with the mod enabled there's no stuttering there is a frame dip but it's it's a couple frames uh which is a thing that i've seen about this too about the high refresh rate mod is that the frame dips uh, like two to three frames, maybe even five, but the majority of the time it, it it doesn't really mess up like your playthrough, 
which is a really good thing. So I highly recommend downloading the high refresh rate mod because this will fix a lot of a lot of issues, especially if you have frame dip issues. So now that you have all those all installed, I want you to go to Steam, uh, go to your library, go to Mega Mix Plus, Jesus Christ, right click on it, go to manage and then browse local files. Uh, but before I do that, if you're complaining about like the outfits automatically being unlocked, what I want you to do is right click, go to properties and then go to DLC and you can go ahead and uncheck the unlock key. I have that unlocked because I generally do not care about customization and unlocking stuff. Um, that's just my personal opinion. So you can see that I have it, have it all enabled, like have it all in here, but it's very easy. It, it's it's more easier than the mod loader itself because that one was a lot more complicated. So, Diva mod loader. You need Winwar, by the way. I totally forgot that. You need Winwar, so you can go ahead and download Winwar. I'll put it in the link in the description, but um, you can extract it or click it. I extracted it here. And what you need to do is you need to copy all this, either select an all or press Control A to select all of it and then drag and drop. That's really all you need that's that's it that that's that's literally it you modded the game congratulations now we what what you can do is you can go to the high refresh rate mod i know it says unknown publisher but you can go ahead and open that i did scans i did virus scans and all that and they said that there was no viruses so you're perfectly good on that if you're going to download mods go ahead and drag that into the mods folder drag the fo uh, the folder into the mods folder and you can see like I have the template mod, it comes with the template mod, song limit patch, restore cut songs, high refresh rate, feature tone customizations, like I have all those. And um, yeah, you just drag all those to the mod folder and you're perfectly good to go. One thing that I want you to do though on the high refresh rate mod is go ahead and hit config. If it doesn't open up the note and it shows this, um, go ahead and click on notepad and click OK. And you can go ahead and change the refresh rate. So VSync, uh, you can turn that off. It doesn't really have that many issues, but I prefer turning off VSync because, okay, last time I explained it poorly, but let me do it a little bit better. So VSync kind of makes your monitor smoother, like your frame smoother. So what that does is it will try to stabilize the frames and try to avoid screen tearing. So if you turn VSync off, there will be screen tearing but there is going to be less of a delay than if you turn VSync on. But this is currently optional because if I have both of those on or off, I really don't see the difference besides a little hitch uh, when it comes to VSync disabled, but you can go ahead and either turn that on or off by true or false. True meaning on and false meaning, you know, off. So uh, frame rate zero, this is capped at 200 FPS. I don't know if it goes 240 F uh, FPS, but um, putting it as zero is unlimited or you can, you know, type like 144 as an FPS limiter, but I go ahead and leave that zero, but, um, the, uh, max amount of FPS I get is 200. Uh, just to let you know, uh, menu, you can turn that to false cause that will, it doesn't really matter cause this, um, puts like the menu, like the song selections and customization, um, that was, uh, put a limit to 60 FPS. So if you want um, max FPS on the menu screen, which I don't know why you would do that. You can go ahead and set that to true. Um, I don't know what these mean. And a new limiter, uh, there's, it's the overwrite of the FPS limiter. So you can copy all these if you would like to, but the main thing that I want you to do is turn VSync off. Uh, if you're having, having any issues regarding like, you know, delays and all that. And that's really about it. That's really all, uh, all you have to do. Uh, you can download other mods from Game Banana, but I would do Virus Total if you are very iffy about it. Virus Total is like a community-based uh, um, virus scanner. Like, for example, I did a Virus Total on this, and then, boom, it says that nothing is undetected at all. I mean, there's some here. That's kind of like, ooh, that's pretty sketchy, but m the majority of them are undetected. You can use Virus Total to scan for these if you don't really feel safe about downloading these mods. I mean, that's what I always do 100%. Even with Osu maps, I I also do virus scans and Virus Total and all that. So yeah, figure out your latency uh, with the headphones that you use or the monitor mix that you have. 
Uh, download the Diva mod loader. Uh, so that way you can mod your game and then you can download the high refresh rate mod. And that will help out drastically. But if you want the Future Tone experience, you can do Future Tone customization and restore cut songs. Now, once you have all that in, all that into the folder, you can go ahead and launch the game. And but yeah, it will launch the game normally. And to test it out, if you have the restore cut songs um, mod enabled, you can go ahead to go to go into rhythm game, go to hard, and then find uh levine polka that, that, like that's the easiest song to find and if you find levine polka that means the mod is the mod works but you can see that i'm getting 200 fps there's some dips every now and then but majority of the time it, it it's fine there's like at least a couple frames dipped but you know what it, it works fine it's actually on time but like there's no issues at all you can see my lag config is at minus 25 I put it at minus 25, that's what Elgato said, how the audio latency is, and it works fine. It's on point, it's on point when I push a button, it's on point with the vocals. You can see that the cool line is at the center. Um, fun fact, if the uh, shadow of the cool and like the goods and all that is like to the left, that means like it's early or ahead or on time. If the shadow shadow is on the center, that means it's perfectly on, on the line. That's a cool little fun fact for you, but it feels fine now. So yeah, that's how you fix the game. <laughs> I know it sucks that you have to mod the game, and I know a lot of people don't really like mods. If I gotta be honest, me me specifically, because like I don't really trust third party software and all that, but. Modding a game works perfectly fine, and it helps uh, helps the game out drastically. So I really recommend modding the game if you're on 1.02. If you're um, earlier or ahead uh, of the update, then I would just wait or keep it update. Like go to their update blog, um, for example, the high, uh, the high refresh rate mod. You can go to their updates and you can see that you can see if they're working on 1.02 or any other updates and you can also look at the, the github to see if there's if it's compatible or not and uh, yeah that's about it it's about it that's how you fix your game hope you guys enjoyed this uh if you did leave a like and subscribe and comment down below your favorite mods and um yeah hope you guys have an amazing morning evening or night and i'll see you guys later bye